Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2017 with the Rude Man, and we're back on Beaver Creek. And um, I, in the last episode, finished with the animals. If we take a look, the animals are all hunky dory. They're all they're all set. And um, I mentioned that I needed something to do water with, and I got something to do water with. Where is it? Well, maybe I can. Where is it? Well, let's take a look. Maybe I didn't get something to do water with. I thought I did. Actually, I did. I had to restart a, a save game. So, uh, I probably restarted it just before I bought the water tank. So let's buy the water tank and get that out of the way. Let's see here. Let's go to the store. And what I did was I went into right here, slurry tanks, I think it was. Let's see. And it's not this one. If you remember, I told you Stevie had his own mods in here for this kind of thing. And um, this this one does poopaloo. Poop but there was one. I think it's this one. Nope, this isn't this one either, is it? Yeah, it is. It's this one. It does water, milk, fuel, uh, fertilizer, poopaloo, fertilizer, all kinds of stuff. So this is the one we need. I tried different ones, and they did not work on this map. So this is the one you need. I'm just going to make it blue like I always do, because I like blue, because I usually use it for water. And we'll leave the standard set up here. I don't care what room color is. Let's just buy this. And then I'm going to need a truck to pull it with. So anyway, um, in the last episode, I talked about that water. But what I didn't realize is I didn't realize that it was in with the sewage stuff. Uh, the, slurry, the slurry tanks. I didn't realize because I couldn't find it. So I just assumed that maybe I did not install it in my mod list. Well, I had. It's just in a different location. So um, let's see. We're looking for a truck now to pull that with. Let's get up here and look for a truck. I don't need much of a truck, just something easy to get around with. So um, I, I kind of wanted a cab over, but these are so big as far as the wheelbase. And I think that's the only cab. Is that the only cab over I've got? I think it is. All right, we'll try this one. I think this one here is the 18 by 4 and I think it's got a really wide uh, really long wheelbase. I'll just try this one and uh, we'll do the same thing make it kind of a light blue. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give it the other uh, mount just even though I don't really need it and we'll switch out the speed limiter removed I think yeah uh, speed limiter removed standard steel wheels optional chrome wheels and let's give it some uh, bling up here and we're going to buy that, and then we're going to have that stuff delivered to the farm, which we'll do right now. All right. 8x4, by 8x2. By it's this one here. Bring that over. And tank doodle do. Where's the tank? There it is. We're going to do that. Sweet. Alright, so that should be right behind me. And it is. It, even still, that's kind of... Wheelbase is so long. Oh well. It's a Volvo. What are you going to do? Well, it'll work. We're going to use it. And the reason why we needed this one... Jesus, how far do you have to go under there? Yeah, still it's pretty long. Um, the reason why we needed this one is I, I had the other tank, that little bitty one that I could water the animals with, but uh, it did not work with all this other stuff. The water over here for whatever this thing is it didn't work for that. It didn't work for uh, the water that's over here in the vegetable gardens. It didn't work for any of that, so I needed this mod to do that. So let's go fetch some water. 
and I'll start putting water in those things. I need to get that cultivator situated. It doesn't belong there. So we just come over here and get some water. And I've got a couple things I'm going to do. First of all, let's jump over. I'm waiting for the uh, fields, obviously. I'm waiting for my fields to uh, to get harvested. And this one is 42%. This one is 85%. And the potatoes are only 33%. And by the way... As I was doing the potatoes, my cedar was coming out here, and it, look, it seeded potatoes in my road, on my dirt road, it seeded potatoes. Oh, jeez, I'm going to have to plow the road now. Uh, anyway, there you go. So, also, I did notice, I thought, that field number two, field number two has corn, and I need corn. It's only 57%, though. So I want to maybe lease that before uh, nightfall, because, or well, yeah, before the next day. I'm afraid that uh, sometimes the game itself, when the fields don't belong to you, the the invisible farmer that owns them will come out and actually harvest it, and you'll miss out on stuff like that. The other thing that I'm going to do is I checked in here to see what I've got in uh, in the silo. And if we go take a look at the grain silo here, Where's the reader board? Okay, there's the reader board. Okay, up here we have we have a little bit of pig food to get us by. We do have some corn. We should use it. Um, silage. We've got twenty six thousand in silage. And let's see. Is there any place that tells me what the grass is doing? Cotton, triticale. We've got some steamed potatoes. We got a little bit of lucerne. A little bit of beet pulp, that kind of stuff. Uh, we're down on TMR, but that's okay because we've got some made, I think. There's the straw. I don't see grass. Am I missing it? There it is. So we've got um, 66,000 in grass. So what I did is I went to the grass field. Let's run over there. Okay, and... I decided what I was going to do is I was going to get... This isn't fully grown here. So I decided I was going to take Enterprise and mow it. Well, what happened is you'll see I've got almost a full load there. Well, not quite. i got three quarters of a load. But what happened was I started Enterprise and it dumped all the grass in one spot there instead of letting me do the whole seed. Remember that glitch where you'd start and it would just dump the whole... Uh, field worth of grass in one great big pile. Well, that's what it did. So I collected it up, and now that I've collected that grass, I'm going to do something different. And let's see, he's got his horse in here. Let me get him out here, and I'll send this guy back. I'll send him home. And what I'm going to do is I want to get my fertilizer while I'm waiting for those crops to grow. Where's my fertilizer spreader guy? Right there. Let's get this baller. And make sure he's got full up fertilizer. Let's grab some fertilizer while we're here. Alright, how come I can't get any fertilizer? Because I'm not on the fertilizer spreader. There we go. I was up on the. Uh, I was focused on the weight instead of the fertilizer spreader. So as soon as we get this full, we're going to take this over to the grass field. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fertilize the grass field, and I'm going to plow it. So let's take a look at the grass field and see what stage of fertilizer uh, fertilization it's in uh, 16 it's in the first stage it's in the first stage and that's okay I'm gonna do a second stage one if I can and um, and then we're gonna plow it and I'm gonna plant lucerne there 
and that's why I wanted to get that last cutting of grass even though it wasn't completely grown I, I didn't even get a full load but I got you know three quarters of the loads better than nothing so we're gonna go back and we're gonna do that I'm gonna plant lucerne in there and we're gonna get some of that I'm lost where the hell am I lost on my own farm I still haven't got used to this farm yet I haven't played it a lot which brings up another thing I was gonna talk about today um, I'm thinking about playing the farm and not recording it uh, or not always recording it because what happens is I start one of these farms like this and I play for 45 minute blocks you don't get a lot of stuff done in 45 minutes and so by the time I get enough crops in the silos uh, money built up uh, you know pig food cow food by the time I get that done it takes me uh, you know 15 20 episodes just to get a good start on a farm so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the farm on my own without recording it uh, you know in between episodes play it offline and uh, and get some uh, stuff caught up because I can't do any of the production, including the animals, until I get stuff stockpiled and get some money in the bank and stuff like that. I've only got 10 of each animal. Uh, that's not even going to give me enough manure to, to do anything with. And I need compost for some of this production stuff. It take, it's going to take me, you know, 30, 40 episodes to get that stuff built up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to farm. I'm just going to farm and not record it. Um, and what and I will not do any production okay so I'm just stockpiling uh, resources if you will and then once I've got some resources I'll come in and do unless there's something interesting I'm gonna do at, at a particular day uh oh here comes that guy let's get him stopped all right stop him We're going to put him over by Enterprise. So uh, if I'm doing something particularly interesting, I'll record. I'll make a recording. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm just going to farm it for a while and come back when I've got some stuff stockpiled. I won't do any uh, production. I won't do any production, which means I'm not going to start vegetable machines. Uh, I, I may or may not start the seed masters. Uh, I won't do any of the uh, vegetables. Like I said, I won't do any of the of the uh, production I'll wait and then I can record the production once I get stuff stockpiled whoa I didn't know it did that that's cool sweet all right let's get this thing started let me get up here let me see if I can hire a worker for this I think I can I think I can I think I can so we get Daryl Walker's working on the fertilizer machine let's um, Let's take a look at what it's doing. Okay, it is fertilizing it. You can see the darker blue behind the tractor there. So that's working. Let's let him go. In the meantime, we'll go get our monster uh, plow. This plow's overkill. I think the roads and the bridges are wide enough for me to get this thing over there. Um... I don't know where I'm at. Can I get around here? Oh yeah, plenty of room. Plenty of room. She called this the two bridge road because I have to go over two bridges to get anywhere. You know, it's, this is a Beaver Creek, right? I've never seen a beaver yet. There are actually beavers on the map. Uh, and then I want to watch that cornfield. I, I got to remember to watch that cornfield. And when it becomes ready for harvest, I'm going to release that, get some corn. Like I said, I do have a little bit of corn in the silo.
Get this big monster out here. Let's see. I think I have a course for this. I think I set up a course already. Grass field. Grass field. Field plow right there. Let's move it to field 16 folder. And then, uh, let's see. We got field number one seed. And field number five seed. Right. Okay. So, let me get this guy. <laughs> That's not working. That didn't work at all. Don't ask me what I was doing. I don't know. Alright, we're just going to start that thing. I'm going to wait for that fertilizer person to be done. Looks like it's going to be done real soon. I have noticed that uh, that the crops ripen so fast on this map. I'm going to take this grass and put it in the silo because everybody's fed and watered. This person's almost done. All right, Daryl, you, you got her, buddy. Right. Okay, that's done. Let's, let's get this thing out of the way. And... Get that plow started. I didn't do any transportation routes, did I? I don't think I did. No, I didn't. I should have a transportation route from the BGA to the farm. Seems to be sending a lot of equipment that way. Alright, let's get this thing going. Now let's uh, lower the plow. And I thought I chose... I must not have. Field 16 plow. Let's grab that. And... We're going to get started here and tell it to drive the course. Right. Okay, now what else are we doing? Uh, yeah, let's put this grass away. Have we got... Hmm... All right, we do have some. We do have some in there. All right, I don't. I don't want to fill it back up again right now. Let me get this stuff put away. Like I said, I want to stockpile some stuff before I do production. Just farming stuff. I'm just gonna do farming stuff, which is the boring stuff to watch, right? I'm just riding up and down a field with a plow and a kind of thing. I might make some pig stuff though. I don't have any pig feed that I know of. Well, maybe I do in storage. But I haven't actually made any myself. And what does that take? That takes uh, beet pulp, maize, and and potatoes what kind of potatoes though <laughs> steamed oh it takes steamed potatoes all right well it's a good thing i got a water tank then isn't it Chuck needs a little more cupola. 
All right, let's go put some water in the potato steaming machines. Because we're going to have potatoes pretty soon if we don't have any in the silos at the moment. Um, when you get this map, there's already a num a, quite a number of, of uh, products in the silo to start with. You don't start with an empty silo, so... Let's see, I, I'm thinking that that sewer hole there is the water pipes. And yes, it is. That manhole cover. Sweet. Okay, it didn't take very much water. So let's put some in that side. Alright. I think I need water in the beet pulp thing too, because if I'm not mistaken, now that took out all the water that we had. So that one's got 30,000 in it. That one's got. Oh, it has the same. Um, if I remember right, we put beets in that beet pulp machine. So it needed water though, and we didn't have a water tank. And now we do. So let's fill her back up again. And let's run out and see how the plow guy's doing. Pretty good. He's got one more little little route to go there and then he's done. Sweet. Okay, let's see. Let's jump out of that and Where's field number two? Right here. Let's see. What, see what I mean? It's already 71%. And it's only been a couple of game hours. Wow. This stuff ripens so fast. It actually says it's ready. Even though it's only 71%, it says it's ready to harvest. I might just go ahead and do it. And look how fast this is coming on. That's 100%. That's 57%. Let's check the taters. How the taters doing? Well, the taters, they're not quite there yet. They're still growing. But they're 50%. And this one is 100%. So we can start on the barley. Man, I tell you, this stuff ripens really fast. Now, at one point, I had a mod in my mod list that uh, sped up the uh, the process of, uh, of, uh, of crop growth. But I didn't think I put it in here. I might have to check if I did, because that's really abnormally fast. All right, let's put this guy back home. Uh, let's let's uh, stop the driver. Do that. Do that. Get this guy back home. We'll get a cedar up here. And then, after we get some lucerne stock piled up, we'll get a couple of crops of that, and then I'll reseed it back to grass. If I need grass in the meantime, look, there's grass everywhere. Look how much grass is here on the ends of the fields and stuff. So it's not like I don't have grass available to me. I can quickly get some grass to feed the sheep and, and uh, make some silence and that kind of thing. Take out the mailbox. That was close. Right, I'm gonna since I'm not doing vegetables yet, I think I'll take this guy down at the end here. And just kinda let him stay here for a while. Let's see, what do we have? Let's get the uh, let's get this guy out to the barley field. I think it was barley this out to the barley field. Where's the barley field at? It's this way, isn't it? Look, I missed a couple of big strips out there. Oh, well. I 
think I started the course play routes wrong or incorrectly on this. Um, I should have went this way instead of the other way, and I can't remember what I did. Uh, well, let's find out. I think we've got a route for this one set up, so... Let's see, this is field number five. Field number five. Be oh, beats. There were beats on this one. I don't have one set up for this. All right. Ayite, ayite. Well, uh, let's do one. We'll do a course right, right now. Okay, field number five. We're going to do one of these. Whoops, five. Uh, 13.2, starting location is the southwest. And we're going to be heading north. We're going to have one headland. I think that should do it. And let's go with that. Let's save that. Field five. Harvest. Uh, southwest heading north. 13 meters times one. Close enough to get my work. Right. Okay. Let's run up here. Oh, I guess we need to unfold the harvester. Otherwise, it'll tell me, hey, I need to unfold the harvester, dummy. All right. Where are we at here? Now this is barley, isn't it? Was this barley? It is barley. Let me see if we've got Okay, we didn't have we don't have the windrow set up. So uh let's stop that, set up the windrow, start it again. And Get ready to drive the course. Uh-oh. That's not a good sign. What the heck? There. That looks better. Alright, let him go. Let's see. That one's ready to move. Uh, water in that. Seemed like I had something else going. That guy's moved. Oh, all right. Well, oh, I was going to go check on field number two because I think it's ready to harvest. Field number two. Um, it may not be 100%, but I don't really care. I just need some corn and and uh, it's ready. It's ready, so let me grab. Uh, I can't. I'm using the harvester already. All right, we have to wait. We'll wait until the barley's done, and then we'll move that over. Oh, I know what I was doing. I was going to steam some potatoes. All right, let's leave this guy here for now, and let's see. We'll get our other truck. Where's our other truck? This guy. All right. And we're going to take water over to the um, beet pulp machine. Right.
Okay, now before we start though, let's see if we have some steamed potatoes already. We do have some pig food, 21,000, we've got, and we don't have a lot of pigs. So we've got a good start on it. There's beet pulp. Steamed potatoes, we do have some steamed potatoes. Not a lot, but we got enough to get started. to unload let's grab this water tank here and we'll get some more beet pulp going I put uh, beets in the beet pulp machine but I didn't have a water tank at the time so I didn't put water in it. So let's do that. Pretty sure, let me look. Yep, see I do I do have beats in it. Alright, there goes the water. Let's grab the other truck this guy and what else did we need we needed beet pulp and and maize all right Okay, let's grab some some corn. Where's the corn? There we go. Grab a little bit of corn. We need to go check on uh, this guy. Oh, we got Ethan Huber working this combine here. Now, I don't know if there's a if there's a course set up for this other truck let's see this is field number five what do we have for field number five field five grain to silo there we go right there let's go ahead and get him moving move, 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 oh shoot what's he doing driving out into the trees. Why you have to do that? That's craziness right there. All right, well, he's straightening himself out. Let's go do the corn. Want to have a little bit of a pig food going. I'll tell you what I really need. I really need the, uh, the TMR because I want to buy some more cattle because I need poo-poo. I need manure and stuff, so... So I need more cattle to make it, and pigs too. So I should buy some. I've got 800,000. Uh, I could buy a few more animals. Which again is why I wanna work offline and get some crops in the silos so I can make some money. I could go and look for all the stupid uh, gold coins, but, well, they're not gold coins anymore, they're gold nuggets, but I hate doing that. All 
All right now what was left? Beat pulp, wasn't it? Beat pulp. Where's the beat pulp? There it is. Um, water truck. Where's the water truck? Let me see. Water truck. Let's put water truck in group four. And uh, how much is left in it? We didn't take very much water. We put water in those two things. And water has to go into the washers too, doesn't it? In the potato washers. Alright, there's water going in there. What else we got going? Oh, I needed the cedar. Okay, he's doing his thing. I needed the cedar to go to field 16. Do I have a tractor for the cedar? What's this? This is a puma. The puma's not big enough. That one is. Let's grab this one and send it back home. Okay, we'll take this guy back home and we can switch off between the, the cedar and the fertilizer, I guess, for now. Oh yeah, Puma's big enough to pull that great big cedar. Somebody said in a comment in one of the previous episodes that I was compensating, asking me what I was compensating for by the size of my cedar. That is, That thing is huge. Same with that plow. It's big. And I don't really need it at this point, but they're... There may come a time on this farm when I start buying some of the bigger fields. Then it'll be handy. Alright, now, where did I have this? There's the cedar. Let's go in. I think that's the cedar in there. Let's go in this way. Here comes a truck full of barley. Barley, I'd say barley. Barley. And I gotta find my corn header. I may not have brought the corn header back from the, sh uh, from the shop. So, I don't know where my corn header's at. I know I have one. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Let's, um... Let's see where the corn header's at. There's the regular header. There's the corn header. And it's over here by the pigs. It's over by the pigs, right there. No, that's the shovel. Never mind. What am I doing? Where's the... Th okay, hang on. There it is. Okay, it's right here. By right where I'm at. Where? I don't see it. You know what I could do? Is I could do this. Oh, I could just do that. All right, let's get this cedar off and running. There's the header, the corn header. This tractor's not pulling this all that well. Um, uh, something's in traffic. Oh, I had this guy in the way.
Might as well put this in and then that pig food will start mixing. Alright, that'll start mixing. Let's get the cedar going here. We don't want potatoes. We're going to be doing lucerne. So let's run through the gamut here. Spelt, cotton, millet, rye, triticale, sorghum, poplar, sugarcane, lucerne. There we go. That lucerne, we have a uh, uh, dairy in the northwest uh, that has milk and ice cream and it says lucerne milk and lucerne ice cream every time I see that I think about ice cream I have to beef up my tractors. This tractor should do more than 32 miles an hour, I would think. Okay, so what I'm going to probably do is just mat. Two or three runs down the road, and I'll be done. This thing, the cedar's so big. So I think I'm just going to manually do this field here. Volvo is slipping. All right. I'll be there in a minute. Kind of busy right now. After I get a little bit of lucerne done, I'll come and plow this field again. And put it back to grass. angle here. There we go. Man, this cedar's huge. I've seen bigger, but they just, they're not real. They're, they're, uh, well, it's a mod. I saw one that was like 50 meters. That's crazy. I think I've actually got it. So we're done. Let's fold this thing up. And then let's go find out what's wrong with the truck. It's slipping on something. Somebody threw out a banana peel or something. Oh. What the heck? How did that get closed? That's weird. How did that get closed? Huh. Well, let's check on the uh, harvester's done. Let's get this guy emptied out. And... Uh, where's our truck? Here he comes. I bet I just screwed him up. Nah, he knows what he's doing. Alright, Barley's done. I don't think I can get through that gate this. 
<laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, I'm going to call it an episode here, and we've got a little bit of pig food going, and I'm going to do probably what I said I was going to do. I'll, I'll do several harvests, um, grow some crops, get some stuff in the silos, that kind of thing, and uh, I won't do any production. I'll, I'll wait and record that stuff, but and I won't do a lot. I'll do a, a little bit more on that and uh, just get some crops in I'll come in do an episode where I'm doing a harvest or something and then I'll work some more between episodes until I get uh, enough product in the silos that I can do some production hope you had fun if you did give it a like share it with a friend subscribe if you haven't I'll see you back on the farm in the next episode